All right, hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So hold on to your hats. This is gonna be a long video. Well, not very long, but it's gonna be quick once we get rolling through it. Okay, so this is my current situation. This is my scent picks for fall. Just the things that I wanna get through or warm through in the next month. <laughs> and when you see it, you're just gonna be like, holy crap. But I actually think it's pretty doable. I tried to pick a smaller like amount than I normally do. Usually I go like a little bit overboard, but yeah. So what I'm gonna do also too is I don't have my Rose Girls Mini Melters that I purchased for fall. And there's also a few other things that I didn't pull out that I wanted to. I Just cause I didn't wanna pull too much out. Cause what my issue is right now is I have two bins in my wax room or computer room, whatever you wanna call it. And they were picks that I picked like way back in summer. I don't know even when. And I've gotten through some of them, but they're still sitting there. So I'm gonna try to eventually like put things back because once you pull it out, it's a pain in the, you know what, to pull it back out. So yeah, I mean to put it away. So I, I'm gonna try not to, I'm gonna try to just slowly put things away or just warm them as I go so I can empty those two bins. Cause I have two bins of stuff that I picked from summertime and that just went to crap. I don't even know what happened. So these are going to be my fall picks. Let's just jump into it. I do have some potion packs here that are fall themed and I do have some ideas. I have a lot of ideas for the Rose Girls, Rose Girls mini melters. I have a lot of idea like scent blends like running through my head and I've been trying to like screenshot them or write them down as I see them so that I can pull them out. I just haven't done it yet. And I'm trying to think there's some scuba bowls I got that I wanna bust into, but I'm just gonna add maybe a little bit every week as I go. I think that's probably a good safe thing. Teeny's Bakery from Ava's Country Cupboard. This is an amazing fall scent. I'm trying to remember what this smells like actually. Oh, I just remember warming this one and just really liking it. Also in here, I threw some things that I have like two cubes left. So let's go ahead. I pulled out Casper, which seems like an obvious choice if you look at the what it is. I remember having this last year and enjoying it. So this one I'm not sure about. This is Pumpkin Marshmallows and our house blend Doom, which is Lord of Miss Roll. Uh, the thing about this one, I don't really smell any pumpkin marshmallows. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know how this one is gonna go because I did review, what's her Dr. Doom blend with the, oh, Draco. Draco I didn't like, so. I have Alien. I always wanna say Aliens, but Aliens is part two. <laughs> Storybook Mint from The Bathing Garden. This one I just wanna do because of the minty. Oh, it's like um, Thin Mints. Oh, it smells so good. So this one's a partial, and I think I have a few of these somehow. I got a few from de-stashing or whatever. Of course, I have Mr. Myers and Frankenstein. Now, this is my Mr. Myers from last year. So I pulled anything that I had from last year to warm first. This is also from last year. I did grab a few more clams of this because I love it so much. This is Misery Pie Crust and Leaves. This is gonna be amazing. I can't wait to get that one going. Cranberry Glazed Donut. This one can kind of be used either for fall or I'll probably use this closer to like Thanksgiving, but I'm gonna put it in my fall basket. Wait on that a minute. I have two cubes of Faded Opulence, which I've had since last year, I believe. Faded Opulence is a great cola scent. This is probably one of my favorite cola scents. I don't like a lot of cola scents, but this one, this one is just, oh, it's like a, with the blood orange and the clove in there and the ginger. Oh, it's just, it's good. It's one of the only cola scents that I like. It, I just warmed probably a couple weeks ago, but I have two more, I think, or maybe the, just this one, I don't know, but of course, Halloween, gotta do that one. I pulled out two Texas chainsaws because for some reason I went ham on these. That's really great if you like a little bit of French baguette with like caramel apple, that is amazing. Banner I've had forever. I feel like I warmed through one of these 
this one is strong. I'm going to have to be careful with this one because I remember this one last year. It gave me a freaking headache. This one's pretty old too. You can kind of see it's looking a little, it's looking a little dreary. Okay, and just to mix it up a little bit, I put in Carrie, which is not necessarily a Halloween scent, but I just really like this one, Strawberry Glaze and Eucalyptus. I feel like I have a second one of this. I don't remember, actually. I think I got a new one this year, and I had an old one from last year. Oh, this one is good any time of year, but I just wanted to throw that one in. Also, to kind of change things up a little bit, this is an older clam, Rue. Bedtime Bath Baby Powder and Magnolia Blossoms. I feel like it's good to like mix some different things in there just so that you kind of get a mixture because you don't want to like bakery and pumpkin yourself out, you know, or cider lane yourself out. And Rue is pretty old. I tried to grab some older clams as well. I grabbed Predator, which is new. So I'll probably wait a little bit on this one so it cures, even though you don't need to let Super Tarts cure, I still do. Insidious, I've had this one since last year, so I pulled it on out. Ego is new, but I love, I did my own blend, or not my own blend, but I mixed her Mac Apple Potion Pack and French Baguette. This was freaking amazing, Ego, so I put one in my ball basket because I loved it so much. Oh, lovely. <laughs> This is hilarious. I have a third Texas Chainsaw, so I'll probably put one back. I don't need three, I don't think. Uh, it's always tea time. I feel like I have two or three of these floating around, so I decided to put this one in. I put in Elm Street, of course, and Adam's Family. Did I just get Adam's Family this year? I feel like I hauled that in my last Super Tarts haul. I grabbed Candy Corn Labyrinth from the Bathing Garden. No need to explain that one. Tombstone Dust, which I don't have a scent description on here. Oh, this is like a caramel apple. Oh, that smells good. Wow. So this is part of my partials that I'm trying to just warm just for the hell of it. Cinderella would be jealous. Belladonna Tincture, or however you say that. I like how it says Miss Rule and Decay. I feel like this is a Lush dupe. Oh, what is that? That is a, that smells like Lush to me. Is that her Lord of Miss Rule? I don't know. I need to look that up. That smell, It smells like a bath bomb, though. It's Lord of Miss Rule, I'm in trouble because I'm not loving Lord of Miss Rule. <laughs> So let's go a little bit faster here. So I have Magician's Bonfire, which this one is actually, I think I have Fairy Bonfire coming to me today, but this one is really pretty. It's Bonfire Wisps Lavender and Chamomile Sugar Crystals. It's really unique and different. Hocus Pocus and Goosebumps. So that is that. All right, so things, smaller things. Oh, and Death Becomes Her, which is, it's like a, I want to say like it's a mint, pepperminty. This one actually I could save for winter time, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I do on this little, <laughs> on this adventure. The Cemetery Keys. I think I really like this one or it was another one. Yeah, C Cemetery Keys is really pretty for me, so... I have quite a bit of Halloween samples. Another Faded Opulence. Magic Green Soup. A lot of these I got in the D stashes that I bought a lot during the summertime. So Magic Green Soup I think is Jungle. Or, I don't know. But they're, they look a little bit older. Like the bags look like they're deteriorating. So I really wanna warm through these now. Pumpkin Pie Spice. Mummy Mademoiselle, or Mazelle. A little thing of Poison Apothecary. Deadly Gardens, like you can see the bag on this one. <laughs> it just looks like crap. So. I think Deadly Gardens is one that I don't like. 
but I don't remember. This one, oh, I thought, you know what? I swear I grabbed another one of these. Okay, well, anyways, Netherworld Zombie. This one's really good. I don't remember the scent descriptions right now. I have them written down somewhere. Frolic is one that I did a review on last time, and I said I wish I had held on to one for fall, and sure enough, I found one, so. And then I also have Sugared Pie Crust, which is perfect for fall, that cute little pie. Okay. I have a few other clams and some partials. So this, my precious, I had intended to mix with Fizzy Pop, which I just never got around to, but there's only three cubes, so I'm gonna use that up. I have, it's always tea time, which I've been, I keep passing this one up, but I wanna warm it, and Snow, Spearmint, and Mac Apple. All right, potion packs. So I've had these since last year. So Hot Toddy, I've got, I think this is a full bag. I'm gonna try to mix. Warm vanilla sugar, which a lot of you guys on the board gave me some good ideas of what to mix with this, which I thought were really inventive and smart. Because I was thinking, what can I mix nutmeg with? So I need to find, what was I going to mix with it? I don't know. It's on the board. So I just know I need to grab that. The, if I can find it now. Oh, here we go. So iced cranberry and cranberry I'm going to mix with several different things, but the main thing is going to be ginger ale. And I think I might do cranberry and like maybe fizzy pop as well and maybe like a bakery type of note. I think that would be really good. I have pecan ice cream. There's another one in here. I think pie crust. Oh wait, so I have, oh here we go. So I have ice cream bread and pecan ice cream. I might make mix that, or I might mix pecan ice cream with, what did I see that I had that I was like, that would be really good. Now I can't remember. Well, that's lovely. Ah oh, crap, I don't know. <laughs> um, I have just a random sun-washed linen, so I'm gonna warm just the one little guy up. I have a sweater weather. I think I might do sweater weather and cranberry as well. That's another one that I was thinking of. Netherworld zombie. This one just smells so good on warm. Like on cold, it smells a little strange, but it's really good. So I have just like a three pack of that laying around. So I need to finish that. These are kind of iffies. I don't know if they'll get warmed or not. Kettle corn. I just have a little bit of lemonade left, but I might just hang on to this for next year. I'm not sure. I might want a little bit of like lemonade. I'm not, I don't know. Clean cotton just in case I need to change it up. And then I've, I got this from a D stash, Enchanted from Rose Girls. I think this is some sort of apple scent. Mm, it's so pretty. So I'll probably try to warm some of that. Let's see, I have a French baguette. And then a few partials that I'm gonna try to finish up. Summer Melon and Mint. Cinderella would be Jealous. Dancing Elephants, just two cubes of that. Actually, all three of those just have two cubes. And then I also found, I have one cube of Iron Islands. I have two cubes of Sugar Cookie. This is my second to last Scentsy bar that I have. The last one I have is this Simply Irresistible, but it's leaking, so that's why it's in the bag. I just want to finish it up and be done with Scentsy for good. Even though I really liked Scentsy a long time ago, I just don't anymore. Sorry about the noise. I was going to pull out a few of these, but I can't read a damn thing. They're my Salty Sea Air samplers. I don't, can you guys see anything on there? Am I... like? I don't know, I can't see anything. So I have these stars and I have almost a full salty sea air sampler, but I'm gonna have to go back and try to watch my old video and see what the hell these are and write it down. But I thought this would be good to like mix it up a little bit when I get tired of like heavy bakery or something. 
And then also over to the right, I have my new super tarts that I just hauled and I'm gonna be adding that into the box as well. But I'll probably let those cure for a little bit and like try to warm them towards like the end of November or whatever. So, okay, Whew, that felt like a lot. Now, of course I have other things that I've got in my closet right now that I plan to like mix and like, I just wanna have fun like mixing the different things. And I, I know I had another thing for cranberry besides ginger ale. And I just can't remember what it was. I saw it on another page and I was like, that sounds really good, but what the hell? I, I know I have a potion pack or some sort of mini melter that I can mix with that. Any kind of bakery probably, like the, probably the Strusel Kuchen or pie crust. I'm sure there's a lot of things you can mix with cranberry. Lemonade, oh, cranberry lemonade, that was it. That was why I kept the lemonade out because I wanted to do cranberry lemonade. That is it. <laughs> All right, that is it, you guys. I will talk to you later. I hope maybe this helped inspire you to pull out your fall melts, even though we're already at October 21st. <laughs> I'm a little late, but that's okay. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. All right, bye guys.